Hi there and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke. In this video we're going to be looking at how to set up the Stick V. First we'll look at how to do things on the Mac. First we'll need to download the firmware. There is a Kflash GUI firmware installer for Mac but seems to be having some issues to open on some versions of the OS so we're going to be using the command line. If we click this link we can see the official Kendrite GitHub with some commands to flash the firmware. First let's go into the folder where we downloaded our firmware and then we can install the Kflash tool by typing pip or pip3 install Kflash. I've already installed mine so I get the message requirement satisfied. You may also need to install PySerial if you haven't already done so. You can do this by the same method with pip3 install PySerial. There's a specific command that we need to use for this particular board. So I'll copy and paste that into the terminal. Then we'll need to change the board rate to 1,500,000 and then replace firmware.bin with the name of the firmware that we downloaded. If you're in the same directory as the firmware you downloaded, you can just type the first part of it and then hit tab for it to autocomplete. Kflash should auto-detect the port of your attached stick V. If it doesn't, you can just add minus P and then the name of the port just after the letters G-O-E. This should start flashing now. To confirm it successfully flashed, let's open a serial terminal. Just as we do with any other M5 stack product flashed with MicroPython firmware, we can use screen followed by the port and then the board rate. And there we have it. We can see the MicsPy logo and the boot sequence. Now if we press Ctrl C, we can halt the current process and help modules will show us what Python modules are currently on the device. Now let's download the MicsPy IDE and get our stick V connected to it. There's currently no link to the MicsPy IDE for Mac in the docs so I've provided a link down in the comments where we can go to the SIPED official site. Here we'll click on the first folder in the list enter the 0.2.4 folder then click on the Mac DMG install file now strangely in order to download this file we need to enter a capture over the top of a button once we've done that now we can click submit query and download the file that we need once downloaded we can open the file up and click on the Mike's Pi IDE icon inside the folder now I've sped this part up, but for some reason it takes a long time to apparently verify the Mike's Pi IDE. Once the software is loaded up, we can select Tools, then go to Board, and select M5 Stick V. Next we click on the chain icon to select the COM port. It should only take a few seconds to connect, and then we can press the play button to run the current script. On the right hand side we can see the live camera feed from the stick V and a histogram below it. Now we can check out some other scripts from the Mike's Pi official documentation which I'll place a link to down in the comments. I'm going to try this find green script that I found in the machine vision section. So I'll just copy and paste that into the Mike's Pi IDE. Then I'll press X to halt the current script and then press play again to run the new script. Now you can see it's nicely detecting the green on my house plants. Okay, now over to Windows. We can flash the firmware for Stick V on Windows by either using the Easy Loader or the Kflash GUI. So let's download all three of those. Windows Smart Screen is likely to block this, but we can just click on More Info 
and then choose Run Anyway. Select the COM port of your STICK-V device and then hit Burn to start the flashing process. Alternatively, we can use the KFlash GUI. So let's extract that, then open it. With the KFlash GUI, we have a few more options where we could import our own custom firmware and add other files to the flash. But for now, we'll just select the firmware file that we just downloaded. Then we'll choose Stink V from the device list, and then the serial port, and then press download to start the process. Once that's done, we can open a terminal program such as PuTTY to connect to the serial to make sure everything's installed properly. Now in the Mike's Pi editor, everything is pretty much the same as Mac. We go into the tools again, select Stick V, and then select the COM port, and press play to run the script. And there we have it. That's all for this video this week. Hope you are able to follow everything. If you have any questions or got stuck anywhere, make sure to leave a comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.